since it's daytime now, you can kind of get a better view of the view outside of my window. Um, yeah, there is the Chicago River. There's that boat that's been there like all night. And then I've seen that building before. I think it was like on like my geometry book or something. And right over here, see that building right there is the former Sears Tower. I don't even remember what it's called now. But like it's like so tall that it's like stuck in the clouds right now. Like you can't even see the top of it. And then right over there, there is a train track. Like every five minutes, there is a train going by. See, there it is. Like it's like clockwork. So we decided to splurge this morning and get breakfast in bed. That's my mom's delicious looking eggs Benedict that I know I'm going to have to try at least a bite of. And then look at my waffles. Those, those look absolutely scrumptious. Had to get a side of bacon. I, I am really excited about this right now. And Merry Christmas to everyone. And hope you're having a good Christmas like I am right now. Just walking around Chicago. Well, it's really, really rainy outside. And it's kind of cold. Not too many people out because it's Christmas. I'm on the river walk right now. Thank God that the Hotel Monaco provides you with a complimentary, um complimentary umbrella because I would be soaked right now and I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing. But just kind of wanted to come out and explore the city. That's exactly what we came here to do. So I'm not going to let just a little bit of rain ruin it, right? Right. So there's this really, really cool building that I saw on the internet just kind of researching. It's called aqua like the big skyscraper is called aqua because it looks like water it's like one of the neatest like designs for a skyscraper that I think I've seen and I really want to see it but look like the clouds are like really low so like a lot of the tops of the skyscrapers are like getting covered up and you can't even see them so I finally found a place where I can just like take off my umbrella for a second. I am right below Columbus Drive. Like, let me see. You can, like, see the cars driving past. Like, look at that. Like, I am right underneath the street. It's crazy. I still haven't found the Aqua building yet, but I know it has to be around here somewhere because it's on the river, like, right there, right by where the river meets the lake. And right down there is where the river meets the lake. So, I know it's around here somewhere. The weather out here is just absolutely horrible. Like, my umbrella, like, literally almost got blown away. So, I think I'm going to stay more in the city because, like, out there, I can't even, like, walk anywhere. Now I am trying to find my way back to my hotel. It's kind of, I really don't know where I am. Like, I found, like, a lot of closed stores. I don't remember there being a Sears anywhere by my hotel. There's a Chipotle and a Jimmy John's, like, my two favorite restaurants. So I have decided that the best way to see Chicago on a day like today is out my window. Because I, tr I tried to, you know, go out walking around sightseeing, whatever, and they don't call it the Windy City for nothing, let me tell you. Look, it's snowing, finally it's snowing on Christmas, like it has a, it just, it just started, but I think maybe tomorrow we're gonna wake up to a white day after Christmas, oh well, take what you can get. So I've decided to try to go out and explore the city one more time. Um, I know the last time it kind of didn't work out so well, so I see how far I can make it this time without having to come in because I'm being taken over by the elements. We'll see. So look who came out of the hotel room. So we are at dinner right now. 
um, we found this like seafood place that's actually open on Christmas, right? Like right around the corner from our hotel room. So we decided to come and eat. Are you excited, Mom? As hell. Something that's not pizza. So we're looking forward to it. So, what, so how was your Christmas, Mom? It was the bomb. I laid around and chilled and. Uh, Fabulous. So here's, here's a little thing, guys. In order to get in and get seated rather quickly, we had to go into the bar, and I'm not even 20, 20 years old. I'm just alone 21. Don't tell nobody. I'm not, no, no one can hear me, so I'm in here illegally. So this is what it looks like right outside of our restaurant seat. Like you can see up, there's the corn top tower. There's the, uh, I think it's IBM, and right over there is the river. There is the Trump Tower. It is, like, huge. Look how tall it is. I think it's the second tallest building in Chicago. Did you enjoy your dinner, Mom? Yes, I did very, very much. Now we are just walking back to the hotel room. What's oh, this the hotel? Name? That is... What does it say? 17th Church of Christ Scientist. Oh, the Christian Scientist. I'm not really sure what that means. Do they like do experiments at church? Do they dissect the Bible? Is it like anatomy of Christ? So my mom has came up with this new term that she thinks is going to be used a lot in 2010. The term is avatar. Now this is a person who is irrationally enthusiastic about the new movie Avatar. I don't know. She just came up with it. She thinks it's going to be big. And so you can look at the time stamp on this video. This is December 25th, 2009. So if anyone says that they came up with this, no. They'll have, to, they'll have to refer back to this video because it was my mom on December 25th, 2009. Just saying.